All right, so today's video, we're going to unbox and show you some reasons you might want to use one of these 10 inch touchscreen MIMO monitors. We've got a bunch of these in stock. We have brand new ones, we have refurbished ones, um, and we have a different prices based on the condition. Uh, let's go ahead and get one of these down and open it up for you. So our MIMO 10 inch touchscreen monitors came out of the Google Meets uh, boxes. So basically we had bundles where it was like you got a Chrome box in one of these monitors and there's like a speaker and a webcam. And those are all brand new kits. And inside of the kit was a brand new monitor. So as you can see, it says right here, Meet Hangouts, Meet Hardware, and it has an Asus logo. If you bought a regular one of these uh, from Mimo that didn't come from a kit, it would just be like that. So it's just the difference of a piece of cardboard. But let's go ahead and open this up. All right, so we've got a user manual, HDMI cable, the green tips. These are uh, a variety of different wall outlet types. So this is actually universal for pretty much any country in the world. Um, this is like the main box. And then these are different clips. I think that one's like Europe. Some, or I think there's different types in Europe, European countries, but in any case, there's one for the United States right there. There's a bunch more. Um, so that might be good for you if you live in another country and you're watching this. And then on this side, we've got the power cable. So this one goes into the box, the power box right here. And the USB cable. All right, let's open up the monitor. Okay, so the main, the main monitor itself has three parts. It has the screen, it has the stand, and it has like a little back plate. So I will go ahead and put these all together and show you what it looks like with the cables and everything connected. All right, here's what the monitor looks like fully assembled. You can see that we've got the stand screwed onto the uh, base there. Sorry, the, mon the monitor screwed into the base. And this is that little plate I showed you earlier. That pops off, you can see those are the three cables. I have them all connected. HDMI, USB data, and USB power. Now that you see how it looks like fully assembled, let's show you it in action. Everyone, you've seen the unboxing. Let's take a look at the MIMO monitor in action. This is my home office. It's a mess, I apologize in advance, but I've got a lot of crazy stuff going on in here. All right, welcome to my home office desk and welcome to the MIMO monitor that I've been using here for about six months. Um, I'm gonna go over the four main reasons that I like this, or four, four reasons you might like this uh, little monitor, and some really cool little quirks about it. So let's start with the biggest one right off the bat for me, which is it can be used as an external display with its own internal graphics. I don't know if I'm wording that correctly, but I can explain it. So let me tell you right now, this is connected to my, my desktop. Here's my PC over here, right? And you can see I have three video cables plugged in. I have a, I have two display ports and I have one USB-C. The USB-C is going to this monitor here on the right. It uh, switches over to HDMI, I believe, or display port either way. Uh, and then display port, display port. Um, this does not need an HDMI cable connected. It comes with one, as I showed you in the unboxing video, but I don't even have it plugged in back here. See, I have the blue cable for USB data, and I have the red cable for USB power, and the USB data cables are transmitting enough um, data to do video over USB. Um, I think that basically means that this has its own video card built into it. Correct me if I'm wrong. But um, this was important to me because at the time that I brought it home, I also had a TV over here, and sometimes if I wanna play a video game that's better as a couch, you know, if you want to sit, sorry about the mess, by the way, but if you want to sit on a couch, watch TV, and have a controller, 
then I could have everything connected. I actually disconnected it just the other day because I was testing something, but there is an HDMI cable normally going from this TV to this computer, and you don't need the HDMI cable to use this monitor. So that, that right off the bat is pretty cool, and I'm gonna show you at the end of this video another reason why that's cool. But let's move into actual uses for the monitor, things that you would do with it. So as you can see right now, I have just a random slideshow I put together um, with some AMD hype on it because that's the hype right now. The date today is <laughs> November 3rd, 2020, and we've got the new Ryzen 5000 CPUs coming out in two days and uh, the RX 6000 series stuff coming out in about a month, as well as all the cool NVIDIA RTX stuff that just came out. So fun time for us gamers, but um, so you can just make a slideshow, really simple. Maybe you like having a slideshow going at your desk with pictures of your kids or, uh, you know, your vacation, um, clips from games, whatever. You can put whatever you want on there and it's just kind of making it look cool. I mean, I've got some pictures right there. I could just get rid of that picture frame and have a slideshow of my kids going on there if I wanted to. That'd be pretty cool. Um, now what I actually use this for though all the time is for temperatures. Um, so I'm just going to show you what I, I'm using something s extremely simple. This is just NZXT cam. Sorry. It's really hard to pick up on the camera. Let me see if I can, there we go. Um, so I just like having this so I can see my GPU and CPU temperatures. Very simple program. Uh, Jay's two cents just did a video the other day where he went over a custom LCD panel he built into his case that had, um, he used software. I forgot what it was called, but, uh, you can basically build your own interface to display all the all the little things you want to see about your computer and this to me is very convenient and very usable because you know a lot of times your desktop maybe it's over here maybe like you're like me and it's on your wall maybe it's underneath your desk but you know when you have your when you're gaming and you're looking right there and all you have to do is do that it's really really convenient and easy to just check your temperatures and for some of you that really matters and for some of you it might not as much but um, I've had my pump on my computer here die three times and uh, and that was one of the reasons why I actually brought this home was just so I could have my temperatures right out here for me um, and not uh, and avoid killing my 2080 Ti which thankfully has not died yet um, okay so then the next thing that you might want to use this for is actually discord um, so let me pull up discord boom so a lot of people like to be able to see discord uh, while they're playing maybe you're in the game and you don't want to tab out and you heard someone just connected to your channel and you're like oh who is that is that you know your friend Steve or well in fact you could have two of these monitors if you really wanted to and have three monitors like that and the TV up here and you could have you know two monitors on the bottom with discord and your temperatures there's all sorts of things you could do if you want to have a really crazy setup but um, those are just the things that I'm recommending so I mentioned the slideshow discord uh, your temperatures and then how you can use this as an external monitor. I also want to remind you that this is actually a touchscreen monitor, but um, I just want to let you know that for me it hasn't been It's it's not the type of touchscreen you if you're really in it, wanting this as a touchscreen It doesn't work at least for me out of the box as a regular touchscreen monitor unless you disconnect all the other monitors so if I disconnect all of these Everything will work fine. I can touch this stuff and I can, you know, click an icon and it will work fine. But right now, because of the whole setup I have going on here with the landscape, um, it actually, uh, if I touch here, you'll see me actually touching like up high. And I'm sure there's a way to fix that. I just don't care. I don't need touch screen. Okay, as you can see, we've got a little test set up here. We've got a 3700X, 16 gigs of XPG 30, uh, 3000 megahertz DDR4 memory on Asus Crosshair 8 Hero Wi Fi edition, and that's just a little dinky RX 462 gig video card just for testing. And you can see we're here in BIOS, and you can see it says 3700X. And if you do know or you don't know, either way, I'm telling you. Uh, there's no built-in graphics off of a 3700X. All right, and to wrap up this video, we have some really fun stuff to show you with a few caveats. So as you can see, the monitor is working here and the touchscreen even works and everything. I swear, if I could uh, just aim with my finger while I'm looking at my camera. So this is just connected over USB. So that blue, the blue cable right there 
is connected uh, from the monitor and then the power brick is connected to some power down there and the HDMI cable is connected to nothing. Um, similar to as I showed you at my house. Uh, but yeah, this is a Ryzen 3700X and uh, that has no onboard graphics. So it's all based right out of the monitor. And that's why they're a little bit pricier than your typical cheap 10 inch monitor because it does have touchscreen and it does have built-in graphics processing, I guess you'd call it. Um, I do want to tell everyone though that one thing it cannot do is uh, do BIOS type stuff for you. So when you boot the computer on, you're just gonna have a black screen. It does need Windows and a driver to, to work like this without having a video card. So I did have to connect this, uh, you know, this RX 460 I was using just to get video and get into Windows <clears throat> and then download the driver from the Mimo website. And as soon as the driver was up, everything was good with the monitor. I turned the computer back off, removed the video card. And as you can see, <clears throat> everything works here on the monitor. So that pretty much wraps up this video. And if you guys have any questions about it, feel free to send a comment our way. Thanks.